Scottish Grand National. Just over 200 grand on offer. Sam Winner, mighty task under top weight. Life for it would be a tremendous story on loads of levels. Gunella is a proven stayer, but will he handle this drying ground? I'll call last year's winner Ben Volley, a significant non winner, no champion. Jackie Wise and Tram, Nick out of Boyneville, Milberg, Graham Waters, Indian Castle for Will Kennedy and Ian Williams. Page three. Yes, Tom might just surprise a few people here. Samstown, local story, Sago success ran pretty well at Cheltenham. Broadway Buffalo, who's your favourite? Tom Scudamore rides this one and then over the page. We've got Raz de Marie for Brian Cooper and Sandra Hughes. They're here in fourth today, catching on Dougie Costello rides. Just in time, two pounds overweight for James Reeve. Big prices on this page. Cogri might just be the best of that quartet, but they're all up against it. Harry the Viking, Derek Fox rides for Sandy Thompson. Mamma the Van, Craig Nichols rides. Stuart Crawford trains. And Vintage Star, last but not least, owned by Trevor Hemmings, who was last week's Grand National winner. He is now with Nick Luck. Trevor has raised his flag, Mick, so this is going to be it by the look of things, if, they, if he can get them away on pretty much level terms. Sago's success in the pink sleeves, purple checks is certainly to the fore. Last year's winner, Alco in a noseband. Harry the Viking towards the inside, Carly King in light blue, and they're off and racing for the 2015 Coral Scottish Grand National over nearly three circuits of the course here at Air. And Carly King on the right in the light blue jacket, disputing it out wide. Wayward Prince is up with the pace as well, and Indian Castle landing in about third place in the noseband and the black and grey jacket towards the outside, Samstown, light blue now with a red cap, that's a slight colour change, Milborough is out wide as they jump the second and they all appear to have landed safely over that as they head on now to an open ditch, fence number three and it's Carly King from Indian Castle, Wayward Prince, Sago success on the outside, on the near side Vincent Star in Trevor Hemmings' colours, white sleeves and Harry the Viking followed closely by Trust and Times just behind the leaders is Broadway Buffalo on the inside running rail as they jump the next. Broadway Buffalo jumping that in the midfield. A slight blunder from Harry the Viking. Sam Winner is already being driven along. Oh, that's a really bad sign. Uh, doesn't look good for Sam Winner already as they jump the next. And uh, looking them trail over that one. Raz de Marais is towards the rear of the field at the moment. Also towards the back is Summary Justice. And uh, held up towards the rear is catching on as well along with Royal player as they now swing downhill and left-handed towards the home straight. So Carly King leads to Indian Castle. Amigo now in yellow and blue sleeves has gone very handy with that Sago success on the outside, then Wayward Prince and Harry the Viking as they jump this one. Vintage star Broadway Buffalo on the right of your picture. Then Global Power and Life For It towards the outside in the light blue sleeves is well in touch from Trust and Times just tracking the leading bunch along with Cogri as they jump the next. Then the Cape Tribulation up the inside of Wiesentraum. In the midfield dropout Joe in an orange jacket with Goon Yeller as they run on to the next. Yes Tom the Grey as they clear this open ditch. After Yes Tom towards the back at the moment says Man with Van. Uh, we lost one there looking down the track and it looks as though it was possibly Cogri or it might have been something else as they jump the next Carly King lands in front from Amigo over this one and Sam Winner is being pulled up never went a yard and the faller was Milbra so passing the judge with two circuits to go Milbra out of the race so too Sam Winner and it's Carly King and Amigo stride for stride from Sago success Wayward Prince Global Power Indian Castle then Trust and Times just tracking the leaders last year's third followed by Harry the Viking Vintage Star and Dropout Joe Larry Forrest on the outside then of Cogri and then towards the inside, Wiesentraum. Deep in the midfield, Benz Benz with Cape Tribulation as they make their way towards the back straight. And then behind these, yes, Tom. And Bailey's Concerto is along the inside as well. And then further back in the field, looking towards the rear at the moment, uh, Hublon des Obo is amongst the back markers with Raz de Murray, also Royal Player Summary Justice, and catching on as they jump the first down the back on this the second time round. Carly King has made much of the running so far under Adam Podgson on the near side. Sago success and Wayne Hutchinson out wide disputing it. A slight mistake there from Globy Power. Man with Van made a mistake at the rear in the red jacket and gone at that one was Ublon Desobo. 
the latest one to fall out of the race. Hublon has Obo and Aidan Coleman. It's Sago Success and Carly King. Wayward Prince Global Power. Indian Castle is towards the inside, still right there with Broadway Buffalo. And then Trust and Times has always been handy. Cogri chasing the leaders on the inside of Alka. Bad blunder from Royal Player back in the field there. Richard Johnston did very well to stay aboard. Over the last in the back straight once again. And they stream over. We'll see them over this. They all land safely there. And it's Carly King from Sago Success in second. Amigo and then Indian Castle. Yellow jacketed Global Power is on the outside under late Naspel. Can he complete a Grand National double within the space of a week? Wayward Prince behind these, then Broadway Buffalo. Cogri's around the inside of Harry the Viking. Alco in white sleeves, noseband, black cap, is in about 10th or 11th place, just inside Dropout Joe. Akali King, the leader, plows through that. Alco was a bit slow, as now they run on towards the next plane fence. In the mid-division, Bailey's Concerta with Yes Tom, Vintage Star, Cape Tribulation, Life Forest is towards the outside but has lost some ground. Ben Benz is in the midfield as well. Catching on made a mistake. It was a very good recovery but uh, knocked him back a bit and the rider is struggling to catch his eye on Dougie Costello as they landed over another open ditch uh, towards the rear of the field. Man with Van, also Samstown Royal Player, Summary Justice and Razda Murray who is under pressure. This is the fence right in front of the stands, a circuit, just over a circuit left to cover. And let's just uh, try and roll through them. Carly King leads the way from Amigo second, Sago Success is third. Then uh, Wayward Prince Indian Castle and Dropout Joe. Global power on the outside then, followed closely by... Uh, on the inside, uh, Cogri was with those, and also Broadway Buffalo. Summary Justice is a faller. Trust and Times is tracking these leaders, followed by Alco as they swing away from the stands. Harry the Viking is next. Yes, Tom up the inside of Bailey's Concerto. And then behind these then is Gugnella still in touch with Ben Benz. A couple of lengths to catching on. And Vicent Traum, Royal Player, still just about in the contest, but got a lot of horses to pass. Uh, so too has Sam's down. And out the back, Vintage Star, Razda Murray is also towards the rear of Man with Van. Down the back straight, nine fences left to jump. Amigo on the outside of Carly King. Amigo landing just ahead there of Carly King pulling up Razda Murray, also pulling up Samstown. Vintage Star has been pulled up. Man with Van has pulled up. Going on towards the next. And up ahead, it's Amigo. Sago success bout. He really hit that one hard. Sago success. And now comes under pressure. And so, Amigo with Wayward Prince right there in the blue with the black sleeves. Sago success on the outside. Global power. Lots in contention. Cogri is there. Trust and Times is there. So too is Ben Benz. Cape Tribulation has been pulled up. Broadway Buffalo in the green sleeves is just tracking the leaders as they clear the next. And a few mistakes there and out the back. Bailey's Concerto made a very alarming mistake. Going towards five out. Amigo is out in front. Amigo comes in to take it. Over from Wayward Prince, Broadway Buffalo in third. They're now getting a bit strung out. Cogri in fourth place. Then Trust and Times. Drop out Joe in the orange jacket on the inside. Then Ben Benz in red with the white cap. As they now swing for home and head towards the final four fences. Gugnella, life for it, begins to stay on a bit, albeit under pressure. Then Indian Castle, Harry the Viking, and yes, Tom, homeward bound. And it's Amigo that turns into the home straight with the lead, challenged by Wayward Prince. Gone there, Cogri. Cogri is gone, hampered trust and times. Now on to the third last, and Wayward Prince has come through to take it up. It's Wayward Prince and Robert Dunn who leads at the third last over Amigo, Broadway Bar. Buffalo stays on, then Ben Benz and Gugnella, but Wayward Prince is going to be the one to catch. This is the final open ditch. Wayward Prince, he got in a bit tight, but he jumped it safely. He leads by four lengths to Amigo. Ben Benz is running on down the outside of Broadway Buffalo and Gugnella, but approaching the final fence. Wayward Prince has about a four length lead. Ben Benz is still staying on over the last. Wayward Prince getting a bit tired. Here's Ben Benz and also Gugnella. The Midlands National winner begins to charge. Wayward Prince!
Edwards has won the Scottish Grand National. Tight second, Gugnella on the outside of Ben Benz. They were clear of Amigo in fourth. Then catching on who made late ground, followed next by Broadway, Buffalo, Alco, last year's winner, finishes about eighth, Harry the Viking, dropout Joe, live for it, and not too many other finishers. Yes, Tom, Indian Castle pulled up. Wayward Prince has landed the big prize here for Robert Dunn and Hilary Parrott, a success for a small team. This horse, an 11-year-old, a class horse in the past. He's returned to form this season. A winner at Doncaster. So two, two outings ago, four marks for the connections for keeping this old chaser very fresh and good enough to win such a major prize.